The cameras are fixed to one man. He's been in terrific form, as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay with us. And it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Monaco, and they face Ike Athens. Well, you have to say, Derek, these European nights are always special. There's been a real buzz about the city today. Let's hope we get a good match tonight. Let's have a look at the Monaco starting lineup. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4 4 2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And this Champions League group stage contest commences. La Sina Traore. Constantinos Simikas. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Traore. A chance to whip it in. And it's gone behind for the corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Keeper getting the touch. What a vital intervention. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Steven Bergwijn. Gonzalo Ramos and space to exploit maybe and a good looking ball oh he's missed but by a minuscule margin well he couldn't have made better contact than that his technique is brilliant he's so unlucky there well he really is danger personified but in this game Stuart what do you think we might see from him well, Derek, he's playing well at the moment. He's confident. He's making runs in behind. He always looks a threat when he gets on the ball. He's been good with the ball at his feet. And when crosses come into the box, he's looked dangerous as well. It's been a really good period for him. Uh, straight at the goalkeeper then. Garcia. Might be able to set up the chance. No nonsense clearance. Under real pressure here. Must score. Oh, yes. It's gone in. And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay. And he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked. And he's been rightly punished. Poor defending.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Lokonga. Showing a real will to win the ball. Useful looking ball. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Levi Garcia wanted to keep it but couldn't. Not the best challenge, free kick. Getting forward. It's there for him. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, let's look at this again. The cross just couldn't be any better, could it? Whipped into that danger area, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Given away by Monaco. Garcia. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Monaco's possession game. Oh, in with a chance! Well, he stormed through, but it didn't end well for him. Well, in those situations, you have to make a few decisions. Unfortunately, he's made the wrong one. <laughs> Giving it a try, and a body in the way. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And clearing it away. Another cup. Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. Well, they've lost the ball. Might be a chance here. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and this real chance... Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Now can they make something happen? Really nice ball. Well, I must say it did look so promising, but the flag is raised offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. There to win it back. Gabby Levi Garcia oh a vital interception well time just challenged magnificently real chance oh good save Lassina Traore. It's with Bergwijn. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is. And a good look.
underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Firing it in. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. And over comes the corner. Well, still an issue here. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. A lot to look forward to on the Champions League group stage front here on EA TV Live. Will he finish? Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And he takes it on, making sure it didn't get past him. And delivered into the box. But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. This looks interesting. And not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of. Oh, it might be. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Pedri. Gabi. It's with Bergwijn. Still not clear. Well, nothing comes of it. More football from Serie A coming up here on EA TV. It's Ike Athens against Udinese. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Could be a chance to break here. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserves. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Martial. Extremely sloppy in possession. Garcia. And room now out on the wing. Targets available, cross comes in. And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they well here it is again just look at the quality of the cross it's inch perfect but how is he allowed that much time and space he doesn't even have to jump to head it in it's a good finish but terrible defending Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Busrati. Could be dangerous. They've regained possession. Breaking at pace. Intelligent threaded pass here. Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. Abreu. Wasteful from Monaco again.
Simikas. It's with Bergwijn. Gavi. Steven Bergwijn. Gavi. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. But then the one that goes astray. Abreu. Oh, they've given him too much. Steven Bergwijn. Firing it towards goal. But it wasn't a taxing save. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Lassina Traore. Simikas. Traore. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well cleared away. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And a big part of the story, a high-level contribution from Steven Bergwijn. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you most of all. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. And a good-looking ball. So I built all these walls